that was so much fun. They're very charismatic as a group. Screaming of happiness at the end. Hi everybody, welcome back to Quality Reactions where we're gonna listen to some music and we're gonna discuss the quality art. So strap in. Today we're gonna be listening to a brand new band at the channel, Muse, and their song Plug In Baby. Because they are new to the channel, I looked up that Muse is an English rock band formed in 1994. They released their debut album, Showbiz, in 1999 with a melancholic alternative rock style. I should say I have heard Muse before. I am familiar with some of their songs, not a lot of their songs, and I've never heard this one. So I'm very excited to hear what is in store for us. Just a friendly reminder to like and subscribe. And with that being said, let us do this. Okay. Is that an effect on the guitar? Yep. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I know they were starting a guitar solo there, but I didn't pause it in the middle because it just started. So technically that does not count. I couldn't, I almost, sometimes I forget to stop it. Um, and now I know a lot of people are going to come in and be like, you never have to stop it. I like to because otherwise I forget things that I'm going to say. I will not remember everything I'm thinking that I want to comment on if I don't stop in the middle of the video. <laughs> But sometimes it's just like so flowy. Um, it I forget that what I'm doing, that I'm like on camera, like here, trying to, you know, talk about art with you guys. So I, live performance is gonna be so fun that way. I feel like they really suck you in. And I've never watched a video of Muse performing live. So this is really cool. And I've never seen them live myself. So very fun. I've just heard them, um, like some of their album versions 
of songs. So this is very fun. Um, they're very charismatic as a group. So I'm loving that. I loved it right off the top with the guitar. And I thought it was like a weird guitar effect. That was just a guitar. Um, and I love the energy. It's very cool. Um, it just, I don't know how to explain it. Obviously, if you're a Muse fan and you've been to a Muse show, you can already, you already know. But also, I was about to pause it and then they were like encouraging the the band. They were encouraging the crowd to sing. And then you guys, if you're not familiar and you're new here, I fucking love audience, audience participation. I love it. I love it so much. There's something about it that like, I don't know, gets me emotional and excited. I love it so much. So that was very cool for me. But let's go to the lyrics because like what's going on in this song? Okay. I've exposed your lies, baby. The underneath's no big surprise. Now it's time for changing and cleansing everything to forget your love. My plug-in, baby, crucifies my enemies. When I'm tired of giving, whoa oh oh <laughs> My plug-in, baby, in, broken, in unbroken virgin realities, is tired of living. And then I think they sang the second verse as well. Don't confuse, baby, you're going to lose your own game. Don't confuse, baby, you're going to lose your own game. Change me and replace the envying to forget your love. Hmm. I mean, I feel like you could, oh man, this is like one of those ones I'm sure that you can take a bunch of different ways. I've exposed your lies, baby. I mean, by saying baby and to forget your love and change me and replace the envying to forget your love, you know, the use of the word baby and like to forget and love and envy and all that stuff really points, I know, I know, I know, but to like a lovey song. <laughs> but then the plug-in baby stuff really gets me. My plug-in baby crucifies my enemies. And then in unbroken virgin realities, that's, that's different for me. So I don't really, I'm not totally sure what this song is about. It's a bit confusing for me, the lyrics, lyrically. <laughs> um, don't really care uh, because they're incredible live and I'm really enjoying the performance. And I feel like uh, it could be interpreted like like a love, like a scorned kind of love song, but I just, it has other elements in there that I'm not really sure where it's going. Unbroken virgin realities. I don't know. Whenever I hear about realities, I really get like matrix vibes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Different, different realities. Reminds me of the matrix. So I don't know. Love in the matrix. Maybe the song is about, <laughs> It's about uh, Neo and uh, just kidding. I don't. <laughs> anyway, this song was probably written before The Matrix even came out, although I'm not really sure about that. Fact check. Can I get a fact check on that? Um, anyway, let's just keep on with the performance and the music. It all back it up.
Hell yeah. That was awesome. Okay. <laughs> Just a lot of screaming. Screaming of happiness at the end. Um, that was so much fun. Um, would love to go to a Muse live show. Not going to lie. Super into it. Definitely need to listen to more of their music. It's funny because a lot of the bands that I've listened to, I, I'd say it's pr pretty few and far between I haven't heard of them or heard a song by them. There's not that many groups that I've been recommended or that I've listened to on the channel that I hadn't already heard of. Um, but then, you know, sometimes you just get stuck in a musical rut. I don't even want to call it a rut because, you know, maybe it's like a comfort rut and you get stuck with this music that you're used to listening, listening to all the time and you just go back to it because you know the beats and the lyrics and maybe it's like a thing related to anxiety. I don't know. That's something to think about because I did, I do, I do think they've done studies or something and like people with anxiety tend to rewatch the same TV show or same movie or something because there's something about knowing the outcome that's comforting and I wonder if it's the same with music. Interesting. Never thought about that psychologically. Anyway, that's a totally other separate thing. So I apologize. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes you tend to get stuck in this like musical route where you're not really, you know, branching out. And I don't know why, because it's so fun to listen to new music and like get new stuff on your playlist. And this is just one of those bands again that I've heard before. I've liked their stuff, but I, they're just like not on repeat on my playlist. And I don't know why, because this was super fun. Let me know what you think of this song, what you think the meaning of the song is, if it has a certain meaning for you. Is it about Neo? <laughs> uh, and Mr. Smith. Um, uh, oh, what was the, I can't think of the woman's name now. Mm, I'm, it's going to drive me nuts. I'm going to Google that after. Everyone's going to be like, mm, that's what it is <laughs> in the comments. Um, or maybe I'll just think I'm crazy for saying anything related to the Matrix, but I don't blame you. Anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for this recommendation. This was really fun. I really appreciate it. If you like this reaction, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know when more is coming your way. And as per usual, I will link my Twitch in the info section below if you want to come over there and hang out with me when I'm live. But that's it for today's video. So take good care and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.